Rumors claim that Google might help Samsung improve its TouchWiz user interface. Fossil lays down details on its plan for smart wearables coming soon, and if you're struggling with micro SD issues on the OnePlus X, a solution might just have arrived. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, you guys are lucky we don't really celebrate Thanksgiving here, so uh, yeah, here's the news. I don't get the day off. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with OnePlus S. The company has just confirmed that it's working on a firmware for the OnePlus X. It's actually already testing it. It should be out in the next few days. Apparently you have improvements to the regular stability and bug fixes, but uh, the most important one is actually micro SD card improvements to support other cards in addition to also allow you to not have to reset your phone every time you swap the card, which are really interesting updates that we hope uh, will bring a better experience. Other official news have to do with Cyanogen Mod 13. It was official a few days ago and it brought support for hot devices like the LG G4, the Google Nexus 7 in addition to others, but uh, today the company has just announced support for other phones like the LG G2. Believe it or not, the LG G2, the Google Nexus 5X, the Nexus 6P, in addition to others, there's a full list and links in the description. Yes, you're getting Marshmallow here, though in a buggy fashion for starters. And even though we weren't expecting any more Galaxy devices to be announced for the rest of the year, we've got uh, certification documents that show us the Galaxy A9 would probably be launched on December 1st which is okay, but uh, hey, we also got news of the Galaxy A7. We've got certification documents from Tina that show us that the phone will be ready in 2016, and it looks a whole lot like the Galaxy S6, which is a good diluting thing anyways. Now let's move the spotlight over to Fossil and its Q lineup of wearables. We know that the company announced as many as three wearables, out of which one of them is actually going to be running Android Wear, which is the Q founder. Those of you that were wondering what price tags were coming from Fossil, given that this is a fashion brand, you're actually going to be shocked as apparently the Q Founder is only going to retail for 275 bucks and uh, it'll bring some major improvements when compared to the Moto 360 and even the Huawei watch because this is going to be one of the few Android Wear wearables to include uh, GPS functionality in addition to other things that we expect with its design. This is really interesting. The only other smartwatch that we remember is the Sony Smartwatch 3 and uh, yeah, GPS functionality is extremely important. If you want more pricing and details for the other wearables, they're available in the links in the description as well. And finally, the hot rumors of today have to do with Samsung and Google as as apparently both companies are working together in improving TouchWiz. And uh, we do know that Samsung made some major improvements with the Galaxy S6 and going forward, but apparently Google is going to help Samsung optimize the user interface even more. We're not really sure if that means design changes or just improvements in stability and other things, but it's great to see that Google and Samsung are working together again, something that hadn't really happened for a while. And this is Android's largest OEM, but it does lead me to the question of the day. Which is your favorite Android skin, if any? Which one do you prefer to use? In my case, obviously, stock Android is my favorite, but I'm not gonna lie. My second favorite is actually Oppo's ColorOS, the latest variant. Then it has a lot to do with the fact that it looks a lot like iOS. I know, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know what you use most. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.